to having a back window on my truck. But since I have one now, it's driving me nuts that I can't see through it. It gets dirty right away. All the dirt and everything spins right around the cab, right onto that window. Gotta wash it every day and I forgot to do it yesterday. Squeegee you're working with. It's a piece of garbage. <laughs> Whatever. It's better. Gotta keep going. Quick pit stop. Clearing the roads. I don't know if he's gonna come back. I'm gonna sneak by here because I got a green light. big trucks either when I'm in my pickup. So I get it. So far everybody is in line behind me. Wow, aren't we so Canadian? Look at us. All following the rules, being polite and stuff. That's weird. Isn't it? Does, this, does it work that way in other parts of the world too? Look at that. Nobody's trying to cut in front of me. I guess I'm used to driving in the U.S. There, everybody will cut in front of you. All this mess just for that little piece of concrete that they're redoing there. Or asphalt. Yeah, I can go straight ahead in this lane, right? I don't gotta be in that lane. Okay, okay. 
Street. I see. Main Street runs north-south from downtown northward uh, towards Selkirk, and it follows the Red River on the east side. No, the west side. Sorry, Henderson's on the east side. myself onto Higgins Avenue here. West in the St. James area. I gotta throw some more stuff on the trailer over there. I didn't know we, I didn't even know Winnipeg had those buses. Do you see that? That's one of those buses that bends in the middle. Fancy. Fancy. Winnipeg. You're going places, I tell you. Watch out. Here comes Winnipeg.
truck is a little bit noisy on the highway. It doesn't bother me. I think it sounds like a real truck. And it's also a day cab, right? It's made for uh, local work. So it's geared for that. Oh, there's a trucker cop right over there to the left. That white F-150 in the turning lane. Let's all stare them down. That's right, you drive away. That's right, you keep driving. You go that way, I'll go this way, all right? Yeah, that's right, don't, don't even look at me. Get out of here. I got nothing to hide, I just don't want to waste my time with them, you know? I got stuff to do. People need their stuff. I've got their stuff. And everybody wants it yesterday. Okay, yeah, he just wanted to confirm that he knew I was here, that he was going to unload me now so that I don't move. I didn't know. I'm walking around looking for the receiving door. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been here before. So I uh, couldn't find a receiving door. So I called into their office, and I'm like, hey, just like, letting you know I'm here now. Uh, uh, I'm in dock three. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we know. We see you there already. We got people on the dock unloading you right away. Don't worry. You can just wait in your truck. Nice. On the ball. So they saw me and sent the guys to unload me right away. And then a guy came out here just to confirm that he's going to be unloading me now, just so that I don't move away while he's unloading. And then when he's done, he's going to come back out again and confirm that he's done, do the paperwork stuff, and then I go. So this is one of those places where you stay in your truck. Uh, I mean, you, you don't have to. I mean, you can get out and get some fresh air if you want, but you don't go inside their buildings, from what I gather here. So... This whole uh, virus has just changed a lot of stuff. And it's not big changes. It's not that bad either. It's it's actually a lot easier for us now because now we just we just stay in the truck mostly and they do all the work. Whereas we used to have to go in there and unload it ourselves. All right. After this, I'm pretty sure I'll be done. Uh, it'll be about, uh, it's about 5 o'clock right now. Yeah, everything's closing down now. So, uh, it's another day tomorrow. 
they're taking the heaviest stuff off me now. The, the stuff that was weighing me down the most. They say on here is about 5,500 pounds, or is that? I'm pretty sure they meant to say kilos. <laughs> it was heavy. But it was nice. It was a nice firm ride all the way home. You know that, that feeling when you have a lot of weight in the trailer and you just feel planted to the road? It's a much smoother ride. Everything just goes a lot better. I don't know. I like having a full trailer. Makes me feel good. Oh, I can hear them talking in there. Wow, they talk loud. I told them what to unload and what was theirs, and they should know. And they were right at the back, so it's not like they should be wondering what's theirs. I haven't felt them actually unload any of them yet because they're such heavy pallets. I would definitely feel it when they left the trailer. Seems like they're just in my trailer just talking. Weird. So many people are in such a hurry to get nowhere. There's another one. Tailgating like crazy. They get around you and then they go slow. I just go a steady pace the whole time. I'm not going to stomp on my accelerator. Why do I need to get to the next light faster? So I realized that my audio is terrible in the truck. The truck is very noisy compared to my voice and the camera's picking up so much of the truck, not enough of my voice. So what I've done is I've gone and ordered myself a new microphone. I used to have a microphone for this camera and then it broke. So I went and ordered another one just now as I was editing this video right here. So it should be here Saturday. So the rest of this week, it's still going to be a little bit sketchy with the audio. I apologize for that. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Next week, we'll have the microphone and uh, we'll have it mounted on the dash somewhere. And uh, you'll be able to hear me more clearly because it's, it's driving me nuts not having proper audio and everything is mounted in the truck uh everything is hands-free and the microphone will also be in its own little mount i ordered the mount for it as well and uh it should make things a lot better so i hope you enjoyed the video today i enjoyed making it it was a lot of fun we had a good day today tomorrow we're gonna have another good day and if you're ready for a good day i hope you tune in tomorrow hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it and we'll see you then.